to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, October 3rd, 2018. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first edition of Recap Wednesday for the fall of 2018, where we're jumping right into last weekend's action out at the inaugural Legion Sports Festival. And just as we predicted right here last week, the 212 title went to one of the best versions of Sean Clarita we've seen as he cruised to an easy win. In the men's physique division, Chiron Holden helped make us look at good again by locking up his second win of the year with his home run performance. And over on the women's side of things, Tomafafa Amico also managed to score win number two of the season. In the classic physique division, the title stayed right there in the great state of California as Danny Union found a way to outpace a pretty solid group of athletes. In the fitness division, Missy Farrell's reign of terror continued as she added another item to her impressive resume. And wrapping things up here in bikini with another plus performance was professional heartbreaker Camille Perrier. The results are in for the big ticket event of the weekend that went down out at the EVLS Prague Pro where Ruli Winkler came in and delivered a coup de grace in one of the best overall performances of his career. In the 212 division, newcomer Angel Calderon Frias looked spectacular in his first career win in the Pro League. And for the second straight year, Andre Komastak outsprinted the field for an early lead and never looked back in the men's physique division as he cruised to the easy win. The big surprise of the evening came in the bikini division where Priscilla Lembacher beat out a handful of Olympians to clinch the biggest win of her career in impressive fashion. In the words of the great American thinker, Juicy J, bands will make them dance. Or you can strap your bands to a hack squat machine and train like a crazy person the way John Meadows does. This week we saw a short clip from one of those classic mountain dog torture sessions where we caught a few quick looks at what the old man's been doing to tune up the wheels lately. As far as I know, there aren't any competition plans in the works for John Meadows at the moment, but I'm sure all the loyal fans of Mountain Dog Nation out there wouldn't mind seeing him test the waters again one more time if he can get the engines cranking again. To quote the legendary MC Big Daddy Kane, I'm so full of action, my name should be a verb. And I think that pretty much sums up the way I feel about Terrence Ruffin after the clips I saw of his little guest posing for Ray last weekend. Once again, Ruff Diesel came out and proved that he is without a doubt the most entertaining man in the division with the vintage effort he put together at last weekend's Daytona Beach Classic. Every time I see this guy move, it never ceases to amaze me because the level of thought and detail and art that he puts out there on that stage is as good as it gets. And given the fact that he's already in shape and that we've still got a few more events left on the calendar, well, hopefully he'll consider giving the people what they want one more time this season before he goes back into off-season hibernation. If you're one of those 11 Sacramento Kings fans who watch this show, my guess is that you're probably not too excited for the start of your NBA season at this point, given the fact that once again your front office screwed up and passed on a potential Hall of Famer in the draft. But hey, on the bright side, it looks like bikini superstar Brina Martinez might be heading your way. Recently we got word from someone inside the Martinez camp that they were planning to hit the Sacramento Championships again this year, which would make her the heavy favorite in my book considering she came in last year and won this same show. Martinez can be sneaky dangerous when she's got it all clicking, so I can't say that I'd be all that surprised if she found a way to roll out of here with another win in front of her hometown crowd. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.